How's everyone doing? I'm doing great. It's Teddy here from Team TJ, and welcome back to Minecraft Ultra Destruction, where today I actually had to fix a bit of a problem a little earlier. Apparently, like, my world got corrupted or something. I then tried getting an old save file that couldn't get to work. And it took me a while, and I finally got it to work, so I'm back. And the world seems to be perfectly fine. All the waypoints we had before are still here. We got our smeltery done down there. It's all good. But something new added to our little house, which I did not intend, are these little guys, little baby chipmunks. Yes, how cute. I think there was a second one running around. Yes, there we go. There's two chipmunks. Anyway, I just logged in and these two chipmunks were roaming around like crazy. And we got an uncommon loot bag. Okay, just normal crap. Alright, but that's fine, that's fine. But, yeah, welcome back to Minecraft Ultra Destruction. It's been a while since I've made an episode of this, but I have returned. I'm gonna try doing better with this. I'm gonna try doing Minecraft content just a little bit more often. But I'd say that my channel is starting to turn more into a Sims 4 channel than it is a Minecraft channel. But I don't care. Anyway, but because we got the smeltery done last episode, which let's go actually take a look at that. So yes, here is the smeltery that we made last episode. And I think it's looking pretty nice. And I think we can get a lot of working with this later down the line. But right now, I kind of want to trade these out for a second, and yeah, pour that in. I want to see, I want to try to make a block of iron out of molten iron. I just want to see, how much does that actually take? I think we might need one more ingot. Also, I think my familiars are glitched. Like, when I teleport with the waypoints, they seem to no longer do what they're supposed to do anymore and I'm not sure why let me know if you know a way to fix that but I I don't know okay, so I just want one more iron ingot and then we can make an entire block out of this and then I can get some other stuff going with this uh, whole smeltery thing here I kinda wanna try getting more into Teaker's Construct soon and actually we're gonna need table. We're gonna need something. We're gonna need one of these. So we're gonna need planks and a blank pattern and that's actually pretty easy. Alright. Thankfully we happen to have a crafting table right here and there we go. Right there. Alright. We are definitely getting good with this. So let's complete this block. This should turn into a block of iron. Yes it does and we got a block of iron free from it. Alright, so how we use this thing. So I think we put like a blank pattern in here and let me pick, let's go with that one. Okay, so that's how we get patterns. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. I think we can score some free patterns from this building over here in the village. I think there's like a bunch of free patterns here and some other things that we can get just for free. Yeah, there is, but I kind of want to be good about it. I kind of want to actually craft all some of these things. Ooh, but these look pretty cool. Ooh, that could be fun. Yeah, I want to be able to make all this stuff. I want to do this right. So I'm just going to come here just, to, just so I know like what I actually need. So I need a... Okay, you're getting annoying. And we're done. Okay, and oh! Okay, good job killing that. We just got the red ant robot. Nice, nice, and a gold coin. I don't really know why. Anyway, but we're gonna need a tool station, so tool, and, okay. Okay, so to make a tool station, we need a, oh, it's just like a crafting table and a blank pattern? That's easy. And there we go, we got ourselves a tool station. We can apparently also get like a crafting station as well. I'm not really sure what that's going to be helpful for. I think I'll put that one in the house though. I don't think we will really need it down here. Okay, part builder. So, part. Okay. Okay, so we actually need a log and a blank pattern for that one. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard though. 
Okay, a log and blank pattern. There we go, part builder. Okay, so we are getting there. We are getting there. And last but not least, I think we need like a chest. And um, where is it? There it is. Okay, pattern chest. And we just need a chest for that. Okay, that's that. This is going to be easy. I'd honestly say that the real hard part was actually getting the smeltery built. That was it. Okay, so I got everything placed around here, and I think it looks pretty good. And there actually is one more thing, actually. Part... no wrong thing. Uh, what? Right, tool station. There was, like, another thing, like a tool forge, that's it. So, like, yeah, we just need, like, that and a bunch of some kind of, a, like, a metal or gem. We got a lot of emeralds, so I think I could probably do that. Anyway, but because I've learned how broken my familiars can be, I'm actually morphing in, in to a ghost and flying up to my house. But I kind of want another way to fly, and I think there's other ways to fly with the mods I have installed. Oops, okay, back, okay. Yeah, there's easier ways to fly than morphing. And I know one of them is animal bikes. I might try getting an animal bike soon. Actually, how many spruce saplings do we have? We have two spruce saplings, so yeah, that could be easy, because I got a saddle already, and yeah, that could be easy. So I'll just put the patterns in there, the blank patterns, put some of this stuff in there. Anyway, like I said, I'm putting this up here. I'm not really sure what difference there is between this and a crafting table. There probably is not is a difference, so I don't know what it is. Actually, no, not put it there. Let's put it here in the corner, you know, just make it look more nice in here. I want to decorate this place with, like, Mr. Crayfish's furniture and bibliocraft. I want this place decorated, but right now, just kind of functional. Okay, so I got the emerald blocks, so we can make the tool forge right off the bat. So that will be easy, and I can get emeralds again pretty easily, because I actually found out there's another mantis thing um, over that way. So... We're gonna go check that out later. Probably not this episode, but I might try doing it off camera, actually. But, yeah, I'm just gonna grab these. Actually, why do I need... Why do I grab so many? I only need three. Alright, so... We can make this now. Okay, a tool forge. An emerald one, nonetheless. Alright, I put it there. I moved the table thing over there. So what can this do? Ooh! Oh, I see. It's like a better way. It's like a way to upgrade these things more, and I actually have a few more options. That's cool. I like that a lot. So we already have one of the best ones, I think. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. We're definitely getting further through Tinker's Construct. I'm going to have to learn more about it. But right now, I want to do something else. There's another mod that is in this I want to do stuff with. Okay, so this is the mod I want to work with. It's Equivalent Exchange, and it's a really great mod. So I'm going to need that, 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 and that, and that's pretty easy. None of that stuff takes much to make. Okay, so what I'm going to need is a bit more sand and some cobblestone. That's not hard at all. So I have four. I need seven. So one, two, three. There we go. That's That's done. And it looks like a mantis died over here. Wow. What killed the mantis? Unless I suppose you want to count another mantis. Which, uh, oh crap. Okay, no, okay, crap, 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 crap. Can we take it? Can we take it? Actually, I might kill it. I might be able to kill another one. Right now, right here and now. You're not so tough. You're not so tough. You're not tough at all. Yeah, I think we're kind of a bit overpowered now. Like, I don't even need all these mantis claws. And we got so many uranium and titanium nuggets. So we'll be able to get, like, the ultimate set like that. that that'll be easy. Okay, I'm just get doing a bit of mining so I can get a bunch more coal. And so I can get the stone that we need. And then we should be able to get pretty much uh, some of the more important stuff for... Uh, equivalent exchange, so we should be good. Oh, great, there's a mantis up here. No! Bruh. 
And being a ghost doesn't help. Okay, so I'm gonna turn into a mantis myself. All right, mantis versus mantis. I got mantis claws in my hand, so I'm basically one of you. All right, can you take me on now? Huh? Huh? And that's what you get. Okay, so we're gonna smelt the stone. Open these loot bags. Ooh! Ooh, okay, another Thumbcraft neck. I really need to get into the Thumbcraft. I don't know that much about it. I'm getting a lot of stuff from it. Okay, this is just random stuff. And this one, um... Oh, that's another piece of the Adventurer's Diary. That's good, that's good. Okay, so this is page two of the Adventurer's Diary. So... Uh, I've already gotten this one, so you can pause this and read it yourself if you want. So, there were a few empty slots for missing Eyes of Ender. Thankfully, I had enough on me to activate it. I hardly stood there for a second before plunging into it. This was the moment I was finally going to kill it. So, I'm guessing this guy is, like, trying to kill the Ender Dragon. Anyway, it's just kind of cool, you know, like a little story, you know? Okay, now smelt the sand into glass, and then we should be ready to set up all that stuff. All right, time to craft. So, I'm gonna need that, and... Okay, that, I'm just gonna do that so I can uh, see all this stuff, and... Da, 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 there we go, there's one, and this, okay, and there we go, there we go. All right, now the last one, this. And I'm first gonna need some slabs, of course. And there we go, there we go. And there we go. All right, so we are ready to set this up. So I'm gonna put it over here, actually. Like, this is, an, this is actually the perfect size for it. So there we go, there we go, there we go. And this on top, and we're done. Well, mostly. We still need, like, a thing on the floor. Well, actually, kind of in the floor. Well, I'm kind of thinking on top of the floor. Okay, so we got that, this, and that. So, I think I know exactly how we need to get all this stuff. So, we actually need nine more stone. Okay, I, I can get that easily. We also need ash, which isn't that hard to get. Okay, so I'm gonna put the coal there, and actually no, that's the wrong thing. So I'm gonna put the coal there and there, and this should make ash. This should make the ash, because there's not much of an exchange value for oak saplings. So yeah, ash, awesome. All right, so we just need nine of that, and it shouldn't take too long. So I'm just gonna go ignore those, and I'm gonna go get some more stone, and I'll be right back. I know one of the mods that I have installed, I think it's Extra Utilities, has like wings I can use to fly around with. I might try getting those sometime soon. Actually, let me just look that up. Um, wing. Okay, wings. Okay, so... Yeah, these are it, so... I'm kind of thinking, whichever one I get, I think they're all crafted relatively the same. Yeah, it's just like a different thing there. So, yeah, this is just shaped crafting. So, the only thing that is a bit tricky, I need an unstable ingot, which... Oh! Oh, hold on here. I swear I got one of the... Yes! Okay, so I already got one. That's actually crazy. Now I need to do some kind of like an inch activation thing for it. Okay, but at least I know that we are kind of close to getting wings already. Wow, we are like just blowing through this series. Okay, so I got the ash. Now I need the stone so we can get the ash infused stone. Okay, so I got that. And now I'm just going to grab the coal out of this and put it in here. Put that in there and that in there. And this should make the ash-infused stone that we need. And then I'm gonna think we're gonna need chalk. And chalk is just clay and bone meal. Simple. And there we go. Chalk. Easy. So I think we just break it. Yes, we do. Okay, so I already got what I need. Pretty sure I only need one though. So yeah. All right. 
And over here, yeah, this is done, and it's raining. Yay, okay, so I'm gonna need to try to think of where I wanna put this. Now, the thing with most YouTubers is they seem to think you actually have to put it in the floor, but that's completely false. You just have to put this on the ground like that, and then you need your chalk. Okay, I accidentally toggled it twice, and it's too big, and I can't undo it. I don't know how this works. Okay, I managed to make it small again. Thank goodness. Okay. So, now that we got that done, now I think we just need to shift right click and there we go we've got it and there we go we've got equivalent exchange going nicely i still need a roof oh hello mr chipmunk you've returned hello little mr okay yeah you're scared of me for some reason but you can't run away from me now ha 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 i have you in my gravity gun now into your little glass container where you'll stay there for all eternity oh oh never never mind Okay, but there's one more thing we need from Equivalent Exchange, and th it's this. A tome of uh, alchemical knowledge, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, and we just need a book, and uh, minimum dust, and I think we need just something... I think we, all we need is an emerald now I think about it. Okay, this should give me the red dust. I'm pretty sure it will, because I'm using an emerald. And yep, red dust right off the bat. Now all I all I need now is a book. We're doing this, guys. We're doing this. Okay, so we should be able to just jump right in to equivalent exchange right now. And there we go. Okay, so we got this. Now this will allow us to research things that have exchange energy. So that's really cool. So I'm just gonna do it with things I might want a lot of. But I need to remember whatever I'm, go I'm going to research, it's going to need to have an exchange energy. But I got three things I already know I wanna research, so we're gonna plop oak wood in there, oak wood planks. And yeah, this, this is gonna be very fun and gonna be helping us get resources a lot quicker so hop seed planks because that's like my floor and carpenter's blocks because i am going to be using the carpenter's blocks mod a lot i'm pretty sure and now that we've researched all of those if i put this in here and like i put something that has like yeah i can get a lot of it actually one thing that I just realized I could do. Let me grab this, and if I put a uh, spruce sapling in there, it probably has the exact same... Yeah, it does. So I could just turn a bunch of oak saplings into spruce saplings, and we can get our first animal bike. That is awesome. See, it's all coming along, and there we go. Now I can get a animal bike. I can get this... I can get the reindeer bike, I'm pretty sure. Yeah! Oh yes, and there we go, a reindeer bike, and I can fly on this, so this is like my new flying mount thing. Oh yes! And now this stink bug needs to leave my house, so you go all the way down there and die. Same with you. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good, I'm happy we managed to get this done. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Minecraft Ultra Destruction. Please do leave a big, fat thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also, if this happens to be the first video that you have seen by me, then please do consider subscribing to join Team TJ today for awesome gameplay videos and other amazing content like this. Again, apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Time to 6 out. Goodbye, guys! You have no idea how hard this is to control for the outro.